All right, and then I guess I'll go over sanding what I did. Um, I originally bought this kit that hooks up to your vacuum. Of course, make it a shot vac. Like I said, do not, guys, do not use your normal vacuum cleaner because drywall dust is so fine. Trust me, it gets everywhere. It will fuck your vacuum up. So I used this to begin with, but it's, I don't know, I just found it difficult at times. Uh, I'm used to pneumatic tools, so... But uh, it is nice because it does vacuum. It's clean, but uh, it's cumbersome the cord or the tube and everything in the way. So, and that's using the screens. Um, the sponge pads, a lot of people seem to like those. I like them too, and they come in a lot of different grits. Um, as far as grit goes, I'm not exactly sure on what the preferred grit is. Um, like a, it's still a little bit of body work muscle memory for me. So after I got done Like doing my last skim coat. I just went over it lightly with 400 grit. That's just that's just me. So um, We'll see how the paint turns out. It looks pretty good upstairs now But and then I got this block sander too, which I really like because it reminds me of doing body work But you have to remember when you're using a block sander and paper sandpaper not to go like straight across or up and down okay you got to go diagonal when sanding drywall so you don't leave scuff marks and uh it's same with doing bondo that i learned too so i kind of passed that over here is when you if you do crisscross patterns okay you won't get any marks in it so there's a tip like see this is that's my mouse sander i started using that thing because of like i said i made a beginner mistake it was on too thick and i just said fuck it so i've taken that thing apart probably seven times just to get all the drywall dust out of the motor but uh so that's what i did for sanding but when you start doing a better job like how that is and you learn to feather stuff out and take it down and take it out uh trust me it makes your life a lot easier so but uh that's just some sanding tips for you guys. So I hope your projects go better than my first one did. Uh, I have another bedroom down here that I'm going to have to pull the drywall tape off of and retape it. And that's a whole other animal. from Because like behind there, I patched, I had a water main break. And I had to patch some drywall right there. And the corner, that angle right there, I thought would look like shit. Cause just because taping, you know, first time beginner, the taping actually looks really good in my opinion compared to the fucking patch job that I did. But this is just a fucking another bedroom downstairs I don't use. So, but uh, uh, yep. If you guys have any other questions or what to look for, uh, you can shoot me a comment. Like I said, go check out some other videos from professionals. They'll help you out a lot too.